Well, NASA officially touching the sun this morning with its Park Solar Probe flying a little under 4 million miles of the sun's surface. What could this tell us? Let's bring in Leroy Chow, former NASA astronaut and International Space Station commander. Uh, Le Leroy, thank you so much for joining us today. Merry Christmas to you. Uh, this is very exciting. This happened this morning, uh, and this is being called historic. It's like 50 years in the making. Tell us a little more about it. Sure. Great to be on. Merry Christmas to everyone there. Uh, yes, this is a, a first on many levels. It approached the sun at a record speed of around 430 million miles per hour, or 430,000 uh, miles per hour, which is the fastest uh, probe that is ever uh, we've ever launched. It also came, as you said, within 3.8 million miles of the sun's surface. That sounds like a big distance, but if you take the distance from the Earth to the sun and compare that to a football field, uh, you'd be uh, about on the four yard line, right? So it's pretty close. So this is historic because we are studying the sun during what's called solar maximum. The sun goes through a cycle of about 11 years. Solar minimum happened about 11 years ago. This probe was launched in 2018. And so it's been able to study the transition from min to max. And it's, uh, we're hoping, the scientists are hoping that it'll actually experience a solar flare uh, during its approach and we can learn a whole lot more about how dynamic, how the dynamics of the sun work. Yeah, you mentioned those uh, very hot temperatures, but I just want to put the numbers up on the screen so our audience can see. Uh, so the flyby, again, occurred at 6.53 a.m., uh, 430 thousand miles per hour and the craft faced temperatures between 1700 and 1800 degrees Fahrenheit uh, flying 3.8 million miles uh, within the sun's surface but you say that is less than a football field's length so that is pretty darn close and and Leroy just tell us what are some of the things that uh, we are hoping to learn from this I understand uh, we're learning about uh, coronal heating solar wind what else can we learn and why is it important? What can we take away from all of this? Well, sure. And as everyone knows, the sun is a very dynamic system. The sunspots are an indicator or seem to be a pretty good indicator of when there are going to be solar flares and coronal mass ejections. And uh, so this is a chance to study those phenomena up close and, you know, further develop our understanding of what we call space weather. Space weather is the interaction of the sun and the particles, charged particles with our magnetosphere and the earth. And so it's uh, this is gonna help us really understand better uh, about those kinds of things that are important for space travel, for our satellites out there. A big solar flare, coronal mass ejection can definitely negatively affect uh, satellites, power systems here on the ground. Mm -hmm. And so we'll hopefully, the practical side of this, hopefully we'll be able to better predict when some of these things are gonna happen. Wow. Okay, so a lot to learn there. Uh, Leroy Chow, a former NASA astronaut, thank you so much for your time today. Merry Christmas to you. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.